All right, so Tony Jacobs at you again. So this is my uh, Lone Star 427. Figure we'll do a walk around and give you some of the details of it. It's a uh, 302 base motor, approximately 390 horsepower because it's a uh, what they call stroker motor. It's uh, extremely dirty now because we just got done with about 600 miles around the hill country outside of Kerrville over the last two days. Uh, we ended up uh, collecting quite a few uh, butterflies. But uh, what you're looking at is a car that was built in 2006. The, every, all of us like to think we've got something distinguishing on the car. For this car, it's the Stripe. Uh, that's an actual uh, House of Colors, hand-painted, airbrushed on uh, Stripe in snakeskin print. It replicates a King Cobra. And uh, the woman who did that, Nancy Adams, is an absolute uh, genius when it comes to airbrush. And uh, she did that for the love of paint. Yeah, and uh, it makes the car. It makes the car more outgoing than I am, and I'm, I'm a pretty outgoing guy. To round it off, it's a, it's a Ford stock color. Came on 2002 Mustangs, mineral gray pearl metallic, with American Racing torque thrust rims, as a lot of us do. Uh, the motor is uh, a little interesting in that it's a uh, throttle body. So it's actually a fuel injected car, but it looks like it has a, a four barrel holly on it. And uh, has been real reliable for me. It's a lot of fun, 84,000 miles of counting, and uh, have enjoyed every single one of them. So you can see that uh, this car is a 94 inch wheelbase. If you're a Cobra, person you know that the originals were 90 inch wheelbase. These are four inches longer, the door is a little bigger than you might see on other cars. It's all in your leg room and it makes the car much more manageable even for six foot tall people. Um, it's a wonderful play toy. Um, you just have to decide when you build one what you're going to do with it. I built mine for daily use so I've got music when I want it, I've got heated seats when it's cold out, I've got power steering so I can park it. Um, and a six speed because I enjoy it. Tilt steering wheel. Um, everything you do on this you can do uh, as custom you want as you want. Um, there's companies out there that sell you a complete kit, uh, pre-made, uh, rollers as we call it, you put your own motor and tranny in it. Or as in this car you get a, a bare body, a bare frame and a bunch of boxes and you uh, spend, spend a few weeks if not a few years putting it together. So different questions people have asked. Top speed, I know people will claim to have run in the 160, 165. I can tell you this car's gone about 140 mile an hour and that's about as fast as I want to go in it. It uh, starts floating uh, floating pretty good. They weren't, uh, they weren't necessarily built. They're a flying brick is what they used to call them. Um, but it's, it's fun. We go out on racetracks. There, if you get into the club, you'll find that there's people that drive them to work. There's people that drive them on racetracks, there's people that just take them to car shows, it's uh, all kinds of people and all kinds of uh, purposes that they've built the cars for. So uh, find us, find us on, uh, on a Yahoo group, Houston Cobra Club, uh, come to Kerrville in October when we have our fall meet, or we go to San Marcos in the spring every April, and we have an absolute blast, we'd love to, to see you come by and say hi. Tell us you saw us on the uh, YouTube channel. Alright. Nice talking to you guys. Catch you on the road.